Hey, and welcome to this video tutorial about generating a PDF off of a web page. There is another tutorial on this channel about generating a PDF based upon uh, laying it out uh, from a blank canvas using a plugin. But in this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to use a plugin called the, which we're gonna install now. It's called the Select PDF Plugin. And it's a plugin by Bubble, so you know it's good. And what you wanna do is head over to selectpdf.com and go to Request API and get an API key similar to this pretty easy setup and then you're off and running um, now a lot of what you'll do for this will be how you would like to set up your UI so I just have a simple UI set up here from a template where we can look at a table that has some things in it and um, we're gonna print this table but you can imagine that in your world you'll have a page that maybe you want to maybe it's an invoice page or maybe it's something that gets filled in with a bunch of dynamic values and those dynamic values uh, exist for a data type called invoice um, or receipt or something and each of those uh, receipts has a bunch of values tied along to it in the database and then they show up here on the user interface that you make uh, pretty standard bubble stuff right so let's see the magic of this plugin by, I'm gonna just copy and paste this button and I'm gonna make this one. They both say the same. Okay, uh, so button print. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start and edit workflow and then you'll find this plugin under email, generate PDF from a web page. And for the file name, you can make this uh, dynamic, uh, but in our case, we're just gonna make it static, and we're just gonna say homepage test or something. And the page that we're gonna do, it has to be a page in bubble, um, so we're gonna do this index page. You can choose the page size, orientation, a number of things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the min load time as five. And um, basically from all of this stuff, you can play around with it, but we're, we're basically, at this point, we're good to go to set up um, to set up a basic PDF printing. So uh, one, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over here and I'm gonna head over to the user type and I'm just gonna say uh, PDF file. And I'm gonna make this a file because I'm gonna show you how you can save it to the database as well. So for this PDF file in our app data, um, we don't have any users. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a test user quickly. And then we're gonna run it as this user. And then, okay, so we can see this here. So now, next up, um, what we wanna do before we print it, is we actually wanna to go to our workflow here and we want to make changes to, in this case, the current user. But you could be changing, you could be, for example, if you have a receipt or invoice data type, um, and maybe you have the PDF file uh, tied to that record rather than the user record, so you would actually go data, you know, make changes to a thing and go find that thing that you wanna change. Uh, again, this tutorial is very broad and is allowing for, um, you know, set up across a number of different uh, um, implementations. Uh, but in this case, we're gonna go to account and make changes to the current user because that's where we've stored this PDF file. And we're gonna say the res result of step one. We're gonna store that there. And then next up, we're gonna open an external website and the destination of this will be the result of step one's URL. So then we can see our PDF after it's generated. Cool. So let's go ahead with all of that stuff and we're gonna walk through our new and shiny print button after all the page load stuff goes. And we're gonna walk through it step by step. So we can see it's printed. Generates PDF based on this page. Maybe it makes changes to the current user. We don't know yet. That's the drama of this tutorial. Do we know what happens next? So it looks like I'm frozen. And we'll just go ahead and, oh wait, 
no, there is something happening in the top bar. We'll let it do its thing. Uh, this, you know, right now what it's doing, it's actually using the uh, select PDFs API to go and do some fancy things. And I suppose at this moment, the we uh, it's out of our hands in terms of, um, you know, how fast something will run. So we'll see if it does its thing. If not, we'll um, run this again and see if it does it on a second try. And uh, let's see, uh, other types of things that you could do with this plugin. Uh, you could email this PDF uh, as part of a, uh, you, could, you could A, store it, and then B, set up another workflow here where you would uh, email it and attach the result of step one. Um, so that could be also something that you would do additionally. Uh, looks like we are, we're broken. We're broken down. We need some repairs. So we'll see if we can repair it. Okay, so it's it's not uh, it's not liking our request over here. Let's go ahead and refresh that. And we'll try one more time. So this is great because you might be seeing errors like this as well. And I think part of these video tutorials or just part of the work in Bubble as it goes is overcoming the moments when something doesn't work as you would expect it to. And so that's part of this tutorial too, in case you didn't know. So we're gonna run it step by step again. I'm gonna go check out our, old, our database here. And we don't see anything, let's see. PDF files there. Okay, so we don't see anything there. Let's try it one last time. So we see it off doing its thing and we'll let it do that. Knock, knock, is anyone home? Looking for my friend, the Tasky PDF? Because without it, I'll never be able to remix Ice Ice Baby, which would be a tragedy for all of humanity. Because I know that everyone who loaded up this video today was looking for a remix of Ice Ice Baby, even though you didn't know it yet. Just like the iPhone, folks, you don't know it. You don't know you want one until Steve Jobs builds one. You don't know that you want this amazing Ice Ice Baby remix until your ears hear the amazingness that is an Ice Ice Baby remix. So it looks like zero luck on this, unless at the last minute, it's like a Hollywood movie. It's like for anyone that's seen Top Gun 2, where it's unbelievably scripted at the end. And it works out ridiculously amazing. But I don't have the budget to hire Hollywood scripters like they did for Mr. Tom Cruise. So we end up with nothing. <laughs> oh. Una vez más, one more time. And for anyone sticking in at this point, congratulations. Um, I hope for your sake it works because we want to see a working PDF plugin here. So let's double check our workflows. Generate this, keep images together, render the page as rendering engine. Ah, it's the old WebKit, en WebKit engine. That's, what's it. that's what the issue is. I don't know if that's true or not. But we'll find out. So I don't even see a progress bar here. So I'm going to say that that didn't work. 
Oh, all right, brilliant. So as you can see here, a printed, a nicely printed page with the A4. So the secret then is turn it on the blink. Let's try that. Let's see that again in an instant replay. We're gonna refresh. We're gonna hit, we're gonna watch this baby go on slow. We're gonna hit print me. It's going out, it's doing its thing. And there it's done it. So, rather than re-record this to be right, for your entertainment value and purposes, <laughs> this is what we got for today, folks. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Uh, give a like to the video and subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more bubble tips. Thanks.